when I was in primary school, the temperature back then was 29 degrees. It used to be 26, 27, and the principal said nobody go outside today. The sun would be extremely hot. That would have been about 20, 25 years back. And now we're experiencing temperatures at 34, 35 degrees almost every day. Climate modeling projections for Trinidad and Tobago predict an increase in average atmospheric temperature, reduced average annual rainfall, increased sea surface temperatures, and the potential for an increase in the intensity of high-impact hydrometeorological events. The Trinidad and Tobago Meteorological Service has found that the annual mean air temperature has warmed over the period 1981 to 2010 by 0.8 and 0.5 degrees Celsius, and that's relative to 1961 to 1990 and 1971 to 1990. Climate change is real. Farmers especially know it. Farmers especially feel it. Size of the rain that's falling now is actually a lot bigger than before. And the volume that comes in, the plants can't stand up to it. You're getting a lot of erosion. Even if you're growing on the hillside, your crops on the hillside suffering from soil erosion one. And if you're on the flat, you're getting flooded. So it is a could end up being a national security issue where we do have food. For the past years, the, the, the standard used to be like different. Now we're getting like a, a more tense heat than how it used to be. When we were younger, we used to more work bareback. Now you, 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 you cannot work bareback, the sun is stinging. So you know that something is wrong. And when the rain comes, it's, it's in a short space of time, you get heavy rainfall. So you know something is changing. As a progressive farmer, the, the whole point about it is that you have to be growing food all the time. Food is a necessity. Is every day you have to eat. So you can't shut down and say, well, look, well, we're having rain. And you shut down. No, it don't happen. So it's a business. It's agribusiness. Right? So, yes, climate change is here. We can't stop it. But because there are many ways we do things. So climate change has to be defined in the context of time frames and has to be made distinct from what weather means. So for example, the weather is a description of the weather conditions at any point in time. So today, for example, is sunny, the temperature is about 30 degrees. Yesterday would have been rainy with a temperature of about 25 degrees. So the weather is a description of the temperature, the conditions at any point in time. Climate, uh, the climate of any area is the average of the weather conditions over a period of about 30 years. According to the data provided by the World Meteorological Organization, the Earth has warmed on average by 0.74 degrees Celsius over the last 100 years, with 0.4 degrees Celsius of this warming occurring only since 1970. The long-term impacts of climate change are projected to be uh, in the order of decades. Um, so that the Paris Agreement, for example, is a global agreement that aims to constrain temperature increases to no more than 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial times by the end of the 21st century, uh, is a goal that is aspirational, that many countries are now implementing actions to achieve that goal. So what is being done in Trinidad and Tobago to meet these targets? FAO provides direct support to the country through its country programming framework. The country programming framework is really the blueprint agreed to with government in terms of the various interventions that can be made. For example, one of the priority areas under the country programming framework is building resilience to climate change, sustainable management of natural resources, and sustainable agriculture production. In this regard, FAO, FAO's work focuses primarily on building resilience through financing from the Green Climate Fund and with the support of the government through the Planning and Development Ministry and the Ministry of Agriculture. 
where emphasis has been placed on building capacity to climate change and at the same time rolling out a national adaptation strategy for Trinidad and Tobago. Climate is changing and will continue to impact heavily on all aspects of life and livelihood. And although big changes are required on a global level, some of the most positive measures can come from the smallest actions by our local farmers.